Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, studded. Buddy was always at the clinic because that kitty had a leak. <laughs> Shit was like Remy prison visits. Got a pap every week. <laughs> oh, how is she the savage? One call for a hit and you all will get killed. Clip longer than your father's trip to the store to get milk. Feel like a. <laughs> Here to be fighting. Be up here pulling a Remy. After all, she is my friend. Bah, now y'all got me pulling a Remy. We both was. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. You know who I be. Vada to the fly. Um, Queens get the money. Queens get the money. Hot 97. Chrome 23. Remy Ma put together Home 23, 40 bars versus QB, Miss Hustle versus Couture, Official versus KCJ, Yoshi G versus Prestavia. And I'm gonna get into it. I break down every round that I've sketched about. I tell you the good, I tell you the bad, I tell you the ugly. I'm gonna just give it to you. I call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. I know there's a lot of people who, you know, uh, there's some different fans, you know what I'm saying? Like when people was asking, about Hot 97, them putting it together. That energy was a, it, it could potentially be a good thing. Like they're giving it out for free. It's on YouTube, it's spreading battle rap awareness and knowledge of people who probably wasn't even fans, was watching battle rap and things like that. But there's certain things that they're gonna have to like straighten up, you know what I'm saying? I'll get into the battles in one second, but you know what I mean? Like, the, f the fact that she's giving these ladies the opportunity to get bread, to perform, to put on, and to, you know, show their talent and display their talent to the world, that's amazing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't never knock somebody from helping someone get to a bag. So for that, Remy Ma get a round of applause because she ain't even got to be in this, you know what I'm saying? Like, she could be off doing her TV thing, her music thing, and she ain't really got to be in battle rap. Like, not in there trying to, like, put people on and get people in better position and getting this lady to this, to this bread. You know, so that's a positive. Um, as far as the event goes, uh, it felt more like a, I seen Coffee Brown tweet this, uh, it looked more like a showcase than an actual battle rap event. Like it, like they were battling, but it didn't feel as battle-ish, if you know what I mean. Like, um, and there was some battles, you know what I'm saying? Like when you really, really look at what was going on between the MCs, they, they, they were some MCs who was trying to swing, like, when you look at like a KCJ, you know what I'm saying, versus uh, official, like that right there, we'll get into that in just one second. So, like I said, the cameras, like the cameras was all over the place. Um, the cameras, like y'all gotta get it together. Y'all need to holler, holler at JB, y'all need to holler at, uh, y'all need to holler at somebody about them cameras, you know what I'm saying? Like it is what it, you got to holler at somebody to get them cameras right because y'all was like, you be filming here, the next thing you know, y'all filming over there by the concession stand where the, where the, where the food is at. The next time you're up in the announcers, like, bro, y'all y'all gotta, y'all gotta, it, the angles was like crunchy too, like the angles. Some of the angles was no bueno. You mad far back. Like, I know that y'all trying to capture like it's a crowd and be, you know, being invasive, like it's a crowd there. But sometimes you gotta mitigate the fact that there's such a big crowd and get up on the MC. Like, I gotta watch some battles and see how battles are filmed because that's what I'm saying. Like it's so you so far back, you miss some of that. Uh, people was talking about the crowd. The crowd was it was an invite only. I even said I was like, yo, I, I forgot. I didn't know it was an invite only when you know what I'm saying when I heard some of the reactions initially. I'm like, the crowd reaction seems weird. Like what's going on here? And then I realized later on it was an invite only. So this is like battle rappers, media. Like this is like you know what I'm saying. They they inviting like the cream. They're not inviting just like people off the street, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure some, maybe a onesies and twosies, but this wasn't like sold with like tickets and like, so if it's a crowd that people are complaining about, you complain about a battle rap crowd, like you know, battle rappers and shit like that. But um, you've seen battles like KCJ versus Official. Like, I give mad props to KCJ for even making it there. Like she was in like the walking boot. Like she was like literally like had to like, 
make it on stage and just stand in one spot. And like when you know how she be doing, like she be moving and grooving like with her bars and shit. And for her to not move around, like she had to like stand there with a walking boot on. You know what I mean? And her second round, first round was cool. Her second round, she got off even more, even though she really couldn't do much movement. Like she could just rap, but uh, she was still got off. And her third was cool too. I had official winning probably through damn near three zero. I had official winning almost every round. Like she was dropping haymakers. Like she was like, like the Remy bar, the Remy Ma. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm grabbing weave. I'm pulling the Remy. She said, "No, that's my friend." So bah, bitch, I'm pulling the Remy. Like she was like, I was like, yo, official had a better performance versus her own people than she's had in a couple of her last battles. Like she was, she was trying to like. Playing, you know how you play basketball in the backyard? Y'all play with like no fouls? Like it was like 21. Like she started playing with no fouls. Like she was like hacking. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, uh, but uh, I do respect the fact that KCJ was even there. Cause a lot of MCs don't realize, a lot of people don't realize when the other MC don't show up, that messes up the fact that, you know, you're not gonna battle. You gotta try to get your second hat. Like it's mad shit that goes on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it is with this event but i've heard of situations where if one the other mc don't show up you don't you you lose some of your bread off the second half or you may not get it or whatever the case may be and you know with people they be a lot of people they be relying on that bread they got families they got kids whatever the case may be so let's keep it moving so that you know what i'm saying her showing up and being a sportsman or a sportswoman a good sport about it you know even though she knew that she was you know going through pain and could barely walk to get up there just to be there and so kind of like sacrifice, I'll take a hit so my, my, my peeps could get a little, you know what I'm saying? She kind of took a hit for her, you know what I mean? And it, it was definitely a hit. Uh, but I will say this, you know, uh, Kate, that's not, that's an anomaly performance by her. She still had some shit, but it was just like, you could tell something was not, it wasn't clicking all the way. That's just, and, and I'm gonna say, it's probably in part to the fact that she couldn't perform it and really groove. Like she was really stuck in one spot uh, the whole night. But no, not to take nothing from official, you know what I'm saying? Like official was uh, was on her square. Like she was, that's the official that we know. You know what I'm saying? That's the one that, that's the one that, that gets kind of crazy with people. So that was a good battle. Uh, hopefully she keeps that up. Uh, Yoshi G versus Prestavia. Uh, this is the first time I seen like a whole Prestavia battle per se, you know what I mean? Um, I will tell you this, that girl right there is talented. Uh, raw talent, like a Christian battle rapper, raw talent. But you know, she she getting a little, she getting a little edgy with it though. You know what I'm saying? Like she has some, she had some bars. When I tell you she was rapping, rapping, like rapping, rapping, like she had that bar. Oh my goodness, like the like the lunchroom game, like yo, what? Like yo, she was, she had a lot of pockets of flow. She was, and, but the thing about it, this battle is, Yoshi G did really well too, you know what I'm saying? The only thing I could tell was Roshi G was getting a little flustered by either the crowd or by the presence, you know what I'm saying? Because they was gun titles, and she had like damn near all the members up there with her, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, the whole clique was up there, and all I seen was Yoshi was like, some nigga with a with a fucking rabbit coat on, you know what I'm saying? Like this nigga was not like like come on, bro. Like Shaft was not gonna get it against gun titles. That's a lot of influence, is what I'm gonna say. I know people were saying, yo, it was gas or whatever the case may be. I don't really see that a lot because she's talented and she had bars and them shits was fire. You know what I'm saying? Like she definitely was fire. Like fire. I, she, she's nice. But Yoshi G is is dope too. Like she got she had some shit. She was wilding, especially in her second and third. And um, you know, she had little moments where, you know, she'll get angry at what was going on in the scenario and shit like that. But overall she was very fire, you know what I'm saying? Was there bias? Yeah, I'm not gonna say there wasn't. But there's a lot of battles where they were biased. Like, not just this battle or this MC. You can tell in the room, like it's like, uh, is this room really for said rapper? Um, I'm not gonna say that because as far as like like they were totally against her, but it was a it was a clear disparity is all I'm gonna say. But that doesn't take away from the essential talent and the MC and how they get down. Like she's very nice. I'm not gonna say I would not sit here and say she only won because of the votes was like it was the poll was next. 
29 to, to 79 and 21 or something. It was a big disparity, but I do have Prestavia winning the battle 2-1. I, I, I had it 2-1 because I felt like Yoshi had some shit too, you know what I'm saying? Both of them was really, really getting busy. I had Prestavia taking the first and um, I gave Yoshi the second and Prestavia the third. Like I just had her winning the battle. It was very, very, very fire. A lot of dope material and she's going to be somebody that's going to be hard to get out the way, I'll tell you that much. Um, Next we had 40 bars versus QB. 40 bars versus QB. Um, I got I got a couple things to say about this battle. I will say this. Um, 40 bars is one of them ones. And she's always been one of them ones. And whenever she needs to remind you or remind me or remind anyone, she has no problem doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like when she wears the cheetah, when she wears the cheetah, she's like uh, undefeated in the cheetah. Uh, if you didn't see it, you will see it. Uh, yeah, um, you're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. Okay, keep your eyes shut and your mouth shut. You, yeah, yeah. It was, it was like that. Um, QB comes into this battle. She hadn't been around in a little minute. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, I like QB. You know what I'm saying? I like what QB was able to do, like with Disrespect Bars, her battles with Arsenal, and some of her other battles that she's had in the past. Um, coming into this battle, uh, it was a lot of people was looking at it like. 40 bars is really nice, lyrically, you know, QB, she does the disrespectful bars and she has the, you know, the presence and she has the flows and shit like that, but 40 bars is 40 bars, you know what I'm saying, like, you really, you gotta pack your lunch, male or female, when you're battling against 40. 40's worst opponent is herself, like, if she stumbles or if something like that, that that's her that's her toughest opponent in any of the battles in her career, really, like, if you look through a lot of her catalog, Battles that she's lost or lost is literally because of the chokes or stumbles or something like that or slips or blips. But when she's on her square, all three, she's very, very tough to beat when she delivers all three. I mean, and, and, and it's not, and she's not even, it's not even a no if factor or nothing, but it's just something that's way, way, way in your past memory. Like, okay, let's make sure she gets through it. It's going to be hard to beat. And in this one, she was all over. QB, like, QB was, uh, she was, she was using some real disrespectful bars, I wouldn't quote any, uh, you know what I'm saying, she talked about it, but the thing is, 40 was disrespectful too, I can't believe it, like, the, the disrespect, the disrespect that they was throwing at each other was crazy, it was like, once one would disrespect, the other one would disrespect, the other one would disrespect, and it would just go up, 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 like a ladder, like, they disrespect was wild, like, bring this person back. Well, that, then yeah, this person had passed away. Them, F them too. I, yo, yo, son, there was a bar in there. This woman, somebody, I, I, oh my goodness. I think QB was like, I'll literally wake them up so I could slap the maggots out their eyeballs. Yo, it was some crap. I was like, bro, this is, this is a lot. It was a lot. I'm not going to hold you, man. Like, this, the, the disrespect was at a, at another level, you know what I'm saying? Um, 40 Bars had introduced an angle, you know what I'm saying, before the battle about QB and some situation where she allegedly raped a guy. Some, some, it was nasty work, I'm not gonna lie. It was like a full six to eight minute video, whatever the case may be. Uh, QB rebuttaled it. It didn't really land. It was to a point, it would get to a point where it's like, you know, that angle didn't really like, it wasn't what I, I if QB, if, if 40 thought that angle was gonna be like some old door closer, it really wasn't like, uh, but she did while on her all three rounds regardless like QB didn't win around I'm like and then didn't 40 win like the extra money of the night for like body of the night and like all this other performance that she styled on it basically Styled on it. all three. I got all three rounds three zip. Um, I was just like I, I, I think I probably expected some disrespect from QB and not like that, 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 that much. Cause I tweeted before the battle, I was like, yo, she's probably gonna stand in front of one of them rounds. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that she put this video out, like she got it put together. Like, you know what I'm saying? She could try to get you out of here. She actually hit me on, on the DM and was like, what is your beef with me, sir? And I was laughing like, yo, you got a battle coming up. And like, it was a joke. Like she put the tear in was we cool. I don't got no issue with her. Like that, I was like, you know, it's jokes. Like, you know, yeah, I, I joke about everything with this shit. So, you know, uh, hopefully I'll see her again on the, on, in the battle shit. Uh, you got, you can't bat, wait a year or two to battle no more. Like that's just like 
things be changing, pockets of flows that people are using, ways that they're approaching battles. And this is a bigger staged event. Like, there was definitely a crowd in there. And it was a bigger staged event. Like, this is like, that was like a, a, a too big of a stage for you to like be just super disrespectful. Like, that was going to get off. Like, it, it just... It was it was got cringy. I ain't gonna lie. Like some of the disrespect got a little cringy. It was like, uh, like bro, like what are we doing here? And then in the third round, <laughs> oh shit! In the third round, forties like telling them don't leave, come back. Like they walking out the they walking out the venue and shit. I don't know what that really was, but she was using that as like yo niggas is like grabbing their shit and walking out while you rapping. I'm telling them to stay. And when the crowd started booing, she was like, that, cause that shit is whack. Like, she was really like getting under her skin. You know what I'm saying? But um, I will say this, uh, 40 definitely showed that she's still one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? Like she's a top gunner. She's always gonna have flow. She's always gonna break people down. She's always gonna have the the, the, the punches and she'll even have little surprise moments about the, you know, the, the, that, that pussy was leaky. Uh, every week she was getting the pat and the, every week da, 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 get, like she was visiting pat like it was a, you know what I'm saying like it was it was it was a it was a good performance by 40 I'm gonna say that man. and she did her thing uh, won the battle pretty clear got the extra bread if she if she you know it don't even you ain't got to recap a battle where somebody got the extra money if they got the extra money you already know what happened so you know what I'm saying that's just that's just that but um who else was on there so you had um you had Gwitty. <laughs> you had Gwitty, man. Gwitty was in the crowd. You could hear him. You could hear his 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 loud, that was fires. Oh, I heard that. Oh, I caught that. Yo, that was crazy. I was like, yo, you can literally tell Gwitty from out of anybody, man. At the end of the night, Gwitty had really like had to like save the night at times. When the crowd, he like, he waved the staff of Moses to like keep the crowd reaction going. Like and Gwitty had a busy weekend because he was just in the other battle that came out with Ill Will versus Reed. And, whew, man, that's crazy, bro. I will tell you this, man. Like, it, it, you got you to gotta have a lot of respect for Gwitty for doing that. Um, last battle of the night was Hustle versus uh, Couture. Uh, cool battle. It was a cool battle. It wasn't really crazy. Um, the event was starting. This was at, like, the seventh, eighth hour. And when you have fans or crowd that been there for eight hours and it's only four battles and it's long intermissions and long breaks and things like that you know it people get tired you know what i'm saying but um i will say this uh hustle and couture both did their thing um i didn't see it when it happened because i mean i'm old i fell asleep but i woke back up and i saw it today and with a clear mind uh i will have this battle being really debatable man i'm not gonna hold you um i got Couture winning the first, I got Hustle winning the second, and the third, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I, I like both of their thirds, I'm not going to hold you, um, Couture had, in the whole battle, whole battle all together, she had some fire material, like, very, very, very good flows, like, you know, she has that accent, and she's able to, like, you know, get at you, she, she had angles, she was saying, you know, instead of uh, joining, you know, you didn't get a a PhD or a CDL, but you got a BB. Like she had really good ways to directly target the opponent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and you know you gotta really like when you gotta look at what you liked in the battle. You know what I'm saying? Some people might not have liked when Hustle brought the dude out and he was rapping. Like they was going back and forth, and then she brought Miss Pack out. You know what I'm saying? Some people might like, some people didn't. But then, you know, you got what Couture had, too. It was a good overall battle. Um, scale of 1 to 10, uh, I give it about a 7. It's a lot to work on, but it's a good foundation. It's a good starting point uh, to have your first event. And every first of all, everybody show up. That's first of all. That everybody show up, everybody ready, everybody there, you know what I'm saying, to... to no real chokes and no, you know what I'm saying? Nothing like that to where nobody's rounds got cut short. Like all the ladies was prepared. They all look well, you know what I'm saying? That's a good starting point, you know what I mean? Now maybe they could kind of, you know, scale. I think it's just scale it back a little bit because it's like a big production, you know what I'm saying? But 
Hot 97 could still do it, but you know, and then you could probably have some fans from the outside involved too, like where they could get in there and get to see battle rap and shit like that again. And you know, I'm sure they could work and I'm sure it'll be good, but you know what I'm saying, there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of visible people like online when the event was taking like, they said it was supposed to start at three, but then at three, they're like, oh, we're gonna start at five, then at five, then it start at 5.30. It's like, nah, people starting to get frustrated. You playing with people Sundays, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you gotta respect the time. Respect the time, damn it. You gotta respect the time. You gotta keep people's time going because, you know, Sundays people be with their family, trying to eat. They ain't got a whole day to just sit around, you know what I mean? And be and be held by the hand. It's like, yo, I'm if the battles is on and you moving and grooving, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? Like we can keep pushing. But if you weigh in and then you gotta do something and you weigh in and you weigh in and you weigh in. But um to end all of that, man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Dope event. Uh, I definitely will watch some of the battles I watched. Uh, and then it's on YouTube right now. You can go to Hot 87's YouTube channel and watch it right now, where that's even dope too. They're straight to the tube. No hell, no nothing. So, you know, it is what it is.